some of the immediate concerns that we have are the impact of extended shielding times for disabled people. We want to see measures that take into account that disabled people might need travel in their lives, even though they aren't personally traveling. So we, we repeat our call for there to be a change in the eligibility criteria for services such as dial a -ride so that more people can use them. The service is hugely declined, but we want to take advantage of that to extend the, the people who, who can use it. We also would urge that there is some research into providing free travel for carers who support disabled people and personal assistance. As I've said, you still need travel in your life, even if you can't travel. And we'd also like some clarification on how long initiatives um, that have been put in place are going to continue and the criteria upon which that decision is predicated. So, for example, Transport for London had a great initiative and still do where if people need support uh, for their access needs that mean that that can't happen under the two metre social distancing guideline, they're given a free taxi. So we want to see how these initiatives, as, as Heidi mentioned, the new set of normals, how they impact the new set of normals going forward. Also active travel, um, Navin mentioned pedal power, and uh, Heidi mentioned the mayor's streetscape. Walking, cycling, micro-mobility, we really urge uh, providers to have some research and innovation and to invest into researching whether or not these initiatives can be more accessible for people with different impairments and for disabled people. We're really interested in the enforcement of social distancing and the movement mechanisms in large stations in particular. So who, who does this enforcement? Who's responsible for its implementation and its management? We want to see all frontline staff trained by disabled people to, see, to make sure we don't see a rise in incidents of disabled people being penalised for behaving in a way that supports their needs.